If you're looking for an easy to make shrimp gumbo recipe, this is it. It's packed with a bunch of flavor and spices. guys what's up what's going on welcome back to another episode of Keegan's Kitchen and for today's recipe I'll be showing you how to make a delicious shrimp gumbo recipe stay tuned all right guys so here are the ingredients that I'll be using for today's recipe right so I have some smoked sausage a little bit of oil about a half a cup some seafood stock some extra large shrimp bacon crumble fresh thyme some yellow onion green onion a little bit of all-purpose flour that scotch bunny pepper for that extra spice you know um, garlic paste, a little bit of celery, some green bell peppers, Creole seasoning, tomato, bay leaf powder, and some parsley. All right guys, so the first thing you wanna do is add your oil. And once your oil becomes hot, then we're gonna add our flour and stir it right in. After you add your flour, you just wanna stir it in. You're gonna keep stirring until the roux is nice and brown and thick. Right now the stove is at uh, high heat, but eventually I'm gonna turn it down just to prevent our roux from uh, basically burning. Like I said guys, you wanna keep stirring until it becomes a little bit dark brown. You know, after the color started to change, then you want to reduce your heat. So you want to cook this um, for about five minutes or until the color starts to uh, darken a little bit. All right, guys, so I think my uh, roux is ready. I'm just going to set this aside and then add our other ingredients. All right, so we're going to add our onion bell pepper, celery, then we're just going to stir it up, smelling good, add a little bit of tomatoes, um, this is optional, oh yeah, add my scotch bunny pepper, parsley, green onion, And I'm gonna add my garlic paste. That's about a tablespoon of garlic paste. Stir it up. Smelling good. Now, I'm gonna add my seafood stock. This is four cups of seafood stock. And you just wanna stir it up. Now I'm gonna add my okra. Add some uh, okra, about two cups. Add some thyme, fresh thyme, bay leaf powder, my Creole seasoning. Stir it up. Bacon crumble. Keep stirring. And we're just gonna bring this to a boil. Once it starts to boil, then we're gonna reduce the heat all the way down to that low heat and let it simmer for about 30 minutes. Now I'm gonna add my sausage, my smoked sausage, about two cups. Mix it up again. And we're not gonna add our shrimp as yet. We're gonna wait until like maybe around the 25 minute mark and then we'll add our shrimp. Cause you know, the shrimp only takes like two minutes. So once you add that shrimp to the hot water, it's gonna be good to go. So we're just gonna wait for the last minute to add our shrimp. We don't wanna overcook it. Add a little Worcestershire sauce. 
not too much, about a half teaspoon. Stir it up. And now we're gonna close the lid and let it simmer. All right guys, time to add our shrimp. So this is half pound of shrimp. And then we're just gonna mix it in. And we're gonna turn our stove all the way back up to high heat and bring this all the way back to a boil. After about two minutes, our shrimp should be fully cooked and ready to go. It's looking so good right now. I'm not even gonna lie guys, uh, this shrimp gumbo recipe is the perfect, perfect combination, you know, of Creole spices, you know, the fresh vegetables, the smoked sausage, and shrimp. You know, I'll eat this shrimp gumbo for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. You know, any time of the day, it's that good. Guys, uh, it's smelling good, it's looking good, it tastes good. Uh, time for that taste test. Mm. Wow. Oh my God. This is so good. You know, first time, you know, making a gumbo, and hey, this is this is good. I've been missing out all my life. Mm. I'm definitely taking a trip to New Orleans. Yeah, a few months from now, definitely. Just, just to try this out. Just to try the food, you know, their cuisine and everything. This is amazing. Well, thanks for watching guys.